Yo, what's going on everyone? This is Zach with IT Career Questions. In today's video, we are talking about the biggest threat that you will find in today's state of information technology. Now, if you're like many people out there, you believe that hackers, these hooded magicians, are the number one threat when it comes to information technology. While this is very true, there is, however, another huge threat that may be just as scary as hackers themselves. I'm gonna run you all through a couple different examples here to show you who the biggest threat actually is. And you may be quite surprised by this. So let's get started. This is Eric. He works in the accounting department for a hospital and he just received an urgent email from the CEO telling him he needs to pay this invoice immediately. Good job, Eric. This is Stacy. While she was on the clock at work, she was browsing for shoes and she was looking up coupons. And she evidently downloaded one of those amazing coupon toolbars. Good job, Stacy. This is Edwin. He was trying to help his friend from Nigeria with some money issues, and now he realized what just happened. This is Molly, a very powerful, busy executive who has been trying online dating. Well, as it turns out, she may have gotten catfished. Here's Andrew. He's a son to one of the people in the legal department, and he came into work for the day, and he just does not shut up. So his dad gave him his iPad to use, and while he was playing Minecraft, he may have found some things that he wasn't supposed to and clicked some things that he wasn't supposed to as well. Oops. This is Timmy, and he just saw his first pair of boobs online, and all he had to do to see more was click here. Here's Peter, a disgruntled worker who got called in on a Saturday to file some more TPS reports. He may have found a new way to make some money along the way. And last but not least, here's Jennifer, she found a flash drive on the ground, plugged it into her computer, and now she called the IT department because nothing's working. Way to go, Jennifer. If you haven't figured it out by now, it's you. You are the weakest link. You are the biggest threat in the world of information technology. The end users, period. So now you're probably wondering, well, what do you do? Companies spend millions of dollars on different hardware, applications, software to try to protect their environments. People at home spend hundreds of dollars a year or more trying to protect their computers, their assets, their data. Everything at this point in time is at risk. And there's only one thing that you can do to help mitigate these issues. There's no way that you are going to stop everything from happening 100%. However, if you become more aware and help spread awareness, we can hopefully eventually get to a point where we aren't seeing as many threats as we are today. There's a lot of work that needs to be done to build our education, to build learning in a way that people can understand, relate to, and where it doesn't feel like a chore. Like it doesn't feel like it's something that you don't wanna know anything about, it's completely useless to you, like it's a waste of time. Because at the end of the day, cybersecurity awareness is not a waste of time. It should be enjoyable. It should be something that people not maybe necessarily want to do, but they can find it enjoyable and they can find information from it. Because as we are saying in this video, the end user, that's the biggest threat. And we went through these examples and showed you guys some of the things that could potentially happen. And it's not a good thing. It's not fun by any means. So this is the first video in the Cyber Security Awareness Month, which is in October. And you guys are gonna find many more videos where we kind of break down some of the things that we just saw, how it happens, why it happens, and what we can do to prevent these things from happening. And of course, it all comes down to security awareness. I hope you guys found this video enjoyable. I had a good time making it. If you guys have any other comments, questions, concerns, hit me up in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. As always, take it easy.